So I'm at the dermatologist's office today, ready to get my face scanned. I'm not wearing any makeup because they told me not to, and I'm really excited to see what they have to say about my skin. Come on. I'm getting my face scanned by a machine called Vizia, and it looks at the surface and subsurface conditions of your skin to kind of give you a picture of its health. I'm expecting from this scan to kind of get a better idea of what really is my skin texture and type. Like most people, I've had a lot of battles with acne. I'm starting to get wrinkles now that I'm a bit older. I'm really fair, so I'm really afraid of what kind of UV damage I might be getting. And so I really want to understand better like how to take care of my skin, and I'm hoping these results can give me more information than what I can ever research on the internet. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Welcome. Hey. Good to see you. Okay. So. This is the Vizia system, okay. and it comprises of several components. So this device here is the image capture booth, which will photograph your skin, and then it's obviously hooked up to a computer. And just looking at my face now, is there anything that you can notice right away but that we will probably get more information about through the scan? So I would guess that you probably um, grew up someplace sunny. Are you a California native? I am, and I lived in Arizona for seven years, okay. so I was definitely around the sun a lot. Okay, so you're fair-skinned, you've got light eyes, so you're someone who's going to be more susceptible to sun damage, mm. and this will show us kind of visually and also numerically what we're looking at. And I'm going to have you close your eyes, and there are going to be three flashes. So here we go. So the reason it's taking three flashes is because it's capturing multiple different images. And it needs a different type of lighting for each one of those images. Okay. Okay, so now it's analyzing. This is the moment of truth. So your actual age is 31. Mm -hmm. Your true skin age is 33 based upon the spots, ultraviolet um, damage, and so forth. The reason your skin age is higher than your actual age is because you grew up in California, lived in Arizona, and you're fair-skinned, right? right? So it's, you know, you're being compared to people your age who grew up in Michigan, okay. right? So it's like a huge cross-section of the country. The higher the number, the better. Okay. Okay? I'm doing great on wrinkles. Phenomenal on wrinkles. <laughs> Fantastic. You're, you're like you're killing it on the wrinkle scale. However, um, and yeah. also spots, you're 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 pretty good at too. Okay. But hidden spots, which is ultraviolet damage, you know, this is the 50th percentile. So this is where you are. Okay. So not so good. Right. Um, brown spots, red areas. You have a little breakout, a little acne breakout. Yeah. So that's expected to see that. Um, poor size. Yeah, I definitely and notice I have like quite large pores kind of on my like right on the other sides of my nose. And that's something that I mean, it's not too far off and it's something that you can actually improve with like a topical retinoid. The next picture is usually the one that is the one that is like people are aghast and they <laughs> see this is like the hidden the stuff that you don't see. This is like going 0.5 millimeters down into the skin. Okay. So that's oh the UV spots. Wow. Right? Okay. That's, that's like, wow. Right. right? It's quite sobering. Um, I like, I, yeah, I, as I've gotten older, I've been way more um, mindful about wearing sunscreen on my face every day. But for a, almost all of my 20s, I didn't do that. And even less of my teen years, despite being out in the sun all the time. So it's, it's, it's good scary. to know that, that I can know this so right. that I have more motivation to every day we're put on sunscreen. So now we'll go to the simulation, and this is the one that I find the most scary. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I think. You ready? All right. Oh, I mean, I look like my grandmother. I'm not gonna lie. I think what's really helpful about this is that, well, a that you're here to interpret the results, but b that like I have found in just trying to learn more and more about skincare, there is a lot of information out there. A lot of conflicting information out there. A lot there. of conflicting information. My simple formula um, for skin is the sun is not your friend. Sunscreen every day, hats, sunglasses to protect your eyes, protective clothing, 
Um, as I mentioned, topical antioxidant can help with protecting from sun damage and also topical retinoid, either over-the-counter retinol or prescription tretinoin. Oh my God. So now I know that I definitely need to wear sunscreen every single day, like all of us should be. And I also just feel like I have a better sense of like what's actually going on with my skin. I feel less insecure about my wrinkles because they're not as bad as I thought. Um, but it was really eye-opening just to learn like what's actually going on, what kind of damage I have and what I will look like at 80 if I don't do something now.